Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you a way to put your internet usage, upload, download on the taskbar. This is going to be handy as we mentioned for, well if you have data caps, if you have any problems with your bandwidth, you can kind of diagnose stuff, etc. It's been quite a bit of interest in the article we wrote on this, so we thought we'd throw a video up as well. This page with the article, and right here, the page we're about to go to, is where you download the file. Click anywhere around here. Both of these will be linked to in the video description, as always. If you don't see it, look for the arrow to expand the longer description. So wait five seconds, and the file will download. Once it's all finished, you can close that one out. <laughs> Looks like I could use some monitoring myself, because boy, that's slow. Whew. Wait for it to scan for viruses, and we're going to get started. Now, this is an older program, a few years old, and it wasn't designed for Windows 10, but we can get it to run on Windows 10. Let's open it up, and you'll notice you have two in here. x86 is for 32-bit, or if you're not sure, and 64-bit is for... 64-bit, x64. So what happens if you try to run the file is you get the operating system not supported. That's okay. We're going to extract these files. Hopefully you saw that. Extract all. Extract. And now what you want to do is right-click on the one you're going to run and do properties. Click on the compatibility tab and check this box right here. Run the program in compatibility mode. Click apply. Click OK, and guess what? Let me just check something here. And we're going to install it, and when we do, a window is going to pop up. This is the usual software, Next Next, that asks you to put it on the taskbar. If you don't see it, you have other windows open, it may pop up down here. Just look for it flashing down here, and here it comes. Click yes. Nice thing is, after you do it, these couple settings here, you choose your network connection, your language, and if you want to enable traffic logging, so you can look through your logs later, I'm going to disable that right now, and click save, and then you can see it right here. Now what we can do is right click, and you can turn your monitoring on, turn your monitoring off, see that, pretty neat. Connections, which I'm not going to open because it shows some IP addresses, so you can figure that out what, what ports it's listening to and stuff. Configuration, quick links. This is kind of neat. As you can see, online documentation, wizards, resets. Let's go into configuration. And the reason for that is you want to automatically check for updates, uncheck hasn't been updated in three years, it's probably not going to be so. You don't want this program phoning home every once in a while to find out that uh, there's nothing going on. So, As you can see, you can change your network connection if you have multiple network connections. Refresh them. Change your bit rate to something that makes sense to you. And here's another neat thing. For such a simple little program, you can change the font. Look at that, a little brighter, a little clearer. And I'm gonna get, you're almost out of here. I'm just playing around now. Now I'm just being silly. Uh, other settings, line order, change the alignment. Oh, we spelled it wrong. Database, remember we discussed that when we started? If you change your mind, you can come back here and enable that. Tool tips, delay times, and of course, reset and delete everything. I mean, really. For a free program, I understand it's simple. It's just monitoring what's going on down here. But, geez, it's really well thought out. So give it a shot. This is the only problem. Every once in a while, I'll ask you for a PayPal donation. I'm assuming his PayPal account's still active, so up to you. Um, there you go. Uptime, sent, receive, month, today, session. I like that a lot, too. I really, really like that you can look at what you're using for the entire month just for the one session for the day. Really, really well thought out so as always we appreciate you guys watching thanks for all the new likes and subscribes and once again these links will be in the description down below the video thank you again for watching see you next time